Hello students, in this video we are going to see Laplace transform of integrals. In the previous video we have seen Laplace transform of derivatives. Here we shall see the Laplace transform of integrals. In the previous videos I have explained uh, the four things. Laplace transform of multiplied by t is derivative. Divide by t is integration. Here Laplace transform of uh, derivative is multiplied by s. Integral is divided by s. You have to remember these uh, four things. It's, it will be very easy for you. And here, if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then Laplace transform of integrals. What is the integral limits important here? Integral 0 to t f of t dt is nothing but just to divide by s. So whatever we got f of s, which is the Laplace transform of f of t, just divide by s. Nothing to do anything. The derivative or integral, nothing to do. Just we write whatever we got f bar of s, just we write divide by s. Okay, that's it. So divide by s. So if it is a single integral, divide by s. Double integral, divide by s square. So the proof is not required. So if we see the double double integral form is not there actually. Suppose if we get a double integral here, so we write, we get, uh, so here I'll write Laplace transform of double integral, that is 0 to t, both the limits are same. Integral 0 to t, 0 to t, f of t, dt dt is nothing but once if you know the Laplace transform of f of t, that double integral is nothing but f bar of s by s square, double integral. If it is nth, uh, nth integral, so n times integral, s power n divided by s power n. Okay. So here, let us see the problem. Okay. First problem, let us see this one. So find the Laplace transform of integral 0 to t. Here always we get integral 0 to t and f of t dt. What is f of t here in this case? e power minus 2t t cube. e power minus 2t. So we take whatever here in this uh, dt, integral dt, middle of integral and dt. That is, we take it as f of t. That is e power minus 2t t, t cube. So dt should not be included here. We take only e power minus 2t t cube only. Okay. First of all, we shall find the Laplace transform of f of t. So that will be f bar of s. Just divide by s is the solution. So we are need to find f bar of s. Here, to find the Laplace transform of e power minus 2t into t cube, multiplied by exponential form, always we apply which theorem? First to shifting theorem. So first we find the Laplace transform of t cube and shift s to s minus a. Here in this case, what is a? Minus 2. s minus of minus 2 is s plus 2. Change s to s plus 2. We call it as shift s to s plus 2. So now we know that t power n uh, Laplace transform is n factor by s power n plus 1. Here in this case, what is n? 3. 3 by s power 3 plus 1. That is s power 4. 3 factor is nothing but 6. 6 by s power 4. 6 by s power 4, we get it. Shift s to s plus 2. So in the place of s, just we substitute s plus 2. s plus 2 whole power 4. That's the uh, f power of s. Now, what is divide by s? Just to divide by s, what do we get here in this case in the uh, denominator part, just we get s. That is the Laplace transform of integral is 6 by s into s plus 2 whole power 4. So actually we got a 6 by s plus 2 whole power 4 only. Extra in the denominator we add s just to sing because of the integral. Okay. And next here, let us see the next problem. Laplace transform of integral dt. So here between which whatever we got e for t sin t, we take it as f of t e power t sin t, whatever between which we take it as e of t, e power t sin t. Now, how to find the Laplace transform of uh, e power t sin t whenever we have function is multiplied by exponential, we take the remaining part Laplace transform. What is sin t? Laplace transform, sin t Laplace transform is 1 by s square plus 1. This is direct uh, formula and shift h to s minus a. Here in this case, a is nothing but 1, 1t one or 1t. One so shift h to s minus 1. So in the place of s, just to substitute s minus 1 whole square. What is s minus 1 whole square? s square plus uh, minus 2s plus 1 plus 1. Plus 1 here we get and 1 plus 1. So this we have already done. That's why I'm writing directly. So this is f bar of s. What is the Laplace transform? So now here we found only the Laplace transform of e power t sin t. e power t sin t. Okay. Now, division by t, what is the division by t? We get the determinant. Okay, what we get the integral f of t by t. f of t by t is 
1 by f bar of s ds divided by t is integral h to infinity 1 by s minus 1 whole square plus 1 ds. This is the theorem applied uh, Laplace transform division by t. Laplace transform division by t, a part I have explained about this one. What is that one? Integral h to infinity ds f bar of s. What is f bar of s? 1 by s square plus um, so s minus 1. So directly we can write s minus 1 whole square plus 1. So no need to write the expansions here. Now, what is the integral of 1 by x square plus 1? So we just think it, this as x is x. So 1 by x square plus 1 is tan inverse x. What is x here in this case? s minus 1. So tan inverse s minus 1 from h to infinity. h to infinity. So the upper limit, if we substitute upper limit, tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse lower limit is tan inverse s minus 1. In the place of s, upper limit is infinity. Uh, in the place of s, lower limit is yes, s as it is. So tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 into tan inverse s minus 1. And tan pi by 2 minus tan inverse is cot inverse s minus 1. So this is a bar of s. This is what we got uh, e power t into sin t by t. So integral. Laplace transform integral is whatever we got the answer, so which is divided by s. That is the final answer is cot inverse s minus 1 divided by s. Cot inverse s minus 1 divided by s. Now, here in this problem, we have applied three theorems. The first one is just we found uh, the basic formula, sin t basic formula, and multiplied by e power t is the first shifting theorem, first theorem. And second theorem is division by t. Third theorem is Laplace transform of integral. Here, Laplace transform of integral must be applied at the end. But here, we have applied inside the integral, whatever we have, two theorems. That is, first shifting theorem and divide by t. This can be interchanged. This can be interchanged. Means here, so here what I have explained, we have applied first shifting theorem, first, and next division by t theorem. Division by t theorem. Otherwise, First, we can apply division by t theorem. Next to first shifting theorem. Interchange also, we can apply. So now, we get the same answer. Let us check it. Sin t by t. Now here, first division by t. Division by t is first, I'll find sin t by t. Then we apply first shifting theorem later. So let us check it. We get the same answer. No problem. Okay. So first of all, we find L of sin t. What is L of sin t? 1 by s square plus 1. Next, L of sin t by t. So, this we have done many times in the previous problem. Sin t by t. So, sin t by t is nothing but division by t is integral. Integral uh, 0 to s to infinity. So, s to infinity 1 by s square plus 1 ds. Nothing but what? We got a cot inverse s. Directly I am writing cot inverse s. Cot inverse s, we got it. Many times we have done this problem. That's why I am writing cot inverse. So, we get tan inverse Applying upper limit infinity and lower limit, we get tan inverses. Next here, apply e power. So, multiply by e power t. e power t into sin t by t. Sin t by t. So, what do we get? So, cot inverse s. Cot inverse s. Shift s to s minus a. What is s minus a? s minus 1. Here in this case, 1. So, the answer will be cot inverse s minus 1. So, we got the same answer if you observe. So, we got the same answer. Cot inverse s minus 1. So, here in the uh, nodes, uh, here it is applied first, the shifting theorem is applied first and next uh, division by t. But I have applied first uh, division by t, then first shifting theorem. So, in the both ways, we get the same answer. We can do in any order. But integral must be applied at the end, not at the starting. So, sin t, we cannot uh, directly apply integral because e power t by t also in integral. Okay. So, let us see the next problem. L of integral 0 to t, always we get 0 to t only, e power minus 2t, t into sin 3t dt. Here, the question is, it is not in clear, so that is why I will explain here. Now, the question is, L of integral 0 to t, e power minus 2t, t, t sin 3t t sin 3t. Here the uh, notes is not clear. That's why I'm explaining here. Now, first of all, what do we find? We find the Laplace transform of sin 3t, basic problem. And then we apply the first theorem. What's the first theorem? Multiplied by t theorem. Multiplied by t theorem. 
and next we apply first shifting theorem first shifting theorem and later we apply laplace transform of integral so first we shall find the basic problem that is sin 3t what is sin 80 a by s square plus a square that is 3 by s square plus 9 next multiplied by t sin 3t what is multiplied by t multiplied by t minus d by d s of first derivative of negative of first derivative of f bar of s that is 3 by s square plus 9 derivative of this one so we have already seen in the part uh, multiplied by t um, part so how to do it and next first negative of first derivative negative outside and the derivative of this one is 3 is constant 1 by s square plus 9 derivative is minus 3 by s square plus 9 whole square into s square plus 9 derivative 2s so we got so the answer is minus and minus is 3 so minus 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 and minus is plus 3 to the 6s by s square plus 9 whole square this we got up to t into sin 3t now we apply first shifting theorem that is e power minus 2t multiplied by e power minus 2t l of e power minus 2t into t sin 3t so 3 uh, t sin 3t we got the answer as 6s by s square plus 9 whole square just now we got the answer here applying the shifting theorem we get s2 s minus a here what is a value minus 2 so we write in the place of a we write minus 2 Instead of writing minus 2, minus of minus, minus of minus is plus 2. So change s to s plus 2. That is 6s by s plus 2 whole square plus 9. So here we won't get s plus 2. So here s square, s square is nothing but s plus 2 whole square plus 9 whole square. Whole square. But in numerator also we have to change s to what? s plus 2. This is the final answer. Simplification required. Now, here, if we get integral here, extra Laplace transform of integral 0 to t, e power minus 2t, t, t sin t. The third theorem, that is Laplace transform of integral, just what do you write? Division by s, 6s plus 2, 6s plus 2, divided by just write s in the denominator so s plus 2 whole square plus 9 whole square so this is the final answer simplification required s square plus 4s or something like this it's not actually uh, required so we got the answer as 6 s plus 2 6 s plus 2 6 s plus 12 it's given that 6 s plus 12 so whichever we can write s into s minus 2 whole square s plus 2 whole square s square plus 4s plus 4 plus 9 that is 13. So s square plus 4s plus 13 whole square. So we get like this. This is the final answer. Okay. Let us move to the next problem. Very simple problem. Laplace transform of integral t square sin t dt. t square sin t dt. Here how many theorems we have to apply? Only two theorems. That is multiply by t square and integral t square sin t we have already done in the previous problems okay so first of all we find l of sin t l of sin t what is l of sin t just now we found that is 1 by s square plus 1 multiplied by t multiplied by t square sin t so what do we get double derivative that is d by d s of plus of because it is even since it is even we get positive in the previous problem it's only multiplied by t since it is multiplied by t we get negative power one one is odd that's why we get negative here we are getting positive d square by d s square two times derivative because it is t square into f bar of s what is f bar of s s square plus one now here the first time derivative I am writing directly because we have seen this problem many times. The derivative is 2s by s square plus 1 whole square. And this derivative also we have uh, done in the previous problems. Okay. 
the denominator v into u by v form s square plus 1 whole square into numerator 2s derivative is 2 minus numerator u into that is 2s into derivative of s square plus 1 whole square is 2 into s square plus 1 into s square plus 1 derivative to 2s. This problem we have already seen in the previous videos. Again, I'm explaining s square plus 1 whole square square that is L, whole power 4. In this, we can find, uh, we can take s square plus 1 as common. The remaining terms, what do we get? 2 into s square. So, out of 2, 1 we have taken common. So, one term is will be left. s square plus 1 into 2. s square plus 1 into 2 minus here already we have taken s square plus 1 as common. So, the remaining thing is 2 into 2 into 2. That is 8. S into s is s square. s square. So, division by s plus 1. s square plus 1 whole power 4. Here the cancellation s square plus 1 one time cancelled. So, we get s square. So, s square plus 1 into 2. So, what do we get? s square plus 1 that is 2 s square 2 s square plus 2 minus 8 s square by s square plus 1 whole cube using the simplification we get minus 6 s square so 2 s minus 8 s square 2 s square minus 8 s square is minus 6 s square plus 2 by s square plus 1 whole cube now we got t square into sine t only t square into sin t, uh, the value is after the double derivative here, we got 8 s square actually, s square plus 1 whole cube, this uh, something wrong actually, minus 2 s square, here actually it is mistake in the uh, nodes. So, uh, u, u is 2s into s square plus 1 whole square is 2 into 2s. So 2 into 2 into 2, 8 s square. This is correct actually. It's strong in, in these nodes. Okay. And next, at the end, if we get integral here, integral 0 to t dt, just we write here s, division by s. That will be the answer. So, division by s is very easy. Okay. And this is about a Laplace transform of integrals. Laplace transform of integrals. In the next class, we shall see the application of this uh, Laplace transform. What is the application of uh, Laplace transform? Only Laplace transform. Without using inverse Laplace transform, we can find, we can evaluate some type of integral. Some type of means only the definite integral 0 to infinity forms. In the next class, we shall see how to evaluate integrals using Laplace transform, okay?